Hello, my name is Alex from Oden. We have recently received the new version of SenkX. I'm going to use it for designing 5G millimeter wave antenna arrays. Today, I will use the toolkit to design a phone antenna array at 60 GHz. I will also use the optimization feature to check the worst case citations. First, I import a patch antenna from my antenna library as the best element for the antenna arrays. It takes a few seconds to load. After the simulation finished, we check the results. The reflection coefficient is below minus 10 dB at 60 GHz. Let's check the game. Maxima is 7.9 dBi. Let's check the chart. I don't see any nulls. Looks good. Now, I will build an array from this element. I choose a rectangular array configuration. I can pick the number of elements and the spacing and see the geometry and game pattern by using the array factor approximation. Otherwise, I would have needed additional simulations. We can also change the excitations, like this to show how the beam steering works with this array. You have to keep in mind that what you see here is only an approximation. It doesn't include coupling. So it's the best case. For the real result, you need to run the full wave simulation. Now, I will set up the full wave simulation. Setting up the full wave simulation is really easy. Just drag the array object onto the single element simulation. In the Analysis tab, I click Network Analysis to extract the multiple S parameters. Now, this includes the mutual coupling between elements. In this case, it's low. So we can go ahead and put the array into the phone. Let's just use the care tools to make some space. There we go, and put in the antenna array. Now, I will set up an FTTT simulation of the phone and then run this using the accelerate solver. We will skip ahead to the results. You can see the beam steering in real time with this tool. In the analysis tab, SMK has an algorithm called Maxima Game, which shows the best scan in every direction. This array is only efficient in one quadrant. To improve coverage in other quadrants, I will add an M5 Kwasiyagi antenna array using same tools. Now, the mobile phone is equipped with two linear arrays, one with a Kosiyaki element and one with a patch elements. Using the beam steering tool, I can steer both arrays independently. They cover different regions in space and form a more efficient hybrid array. Now, it's safety time. Let's check the service average power density. First, I need to define the service on which to evaluate exposure. For that, I draw a plan in the model tab. Then, I drag and drop it into my post-processing tree so that I can use it for any analysis task. When I select an EM near field and any service, I can see the service average power density button. We have to choose an averaging area. I set it to 100 mm square. Here's the result. I can refine the service mesh to get more accurate results, but with the final mesh, the algorithm becomes quite slow. Instead of trying out all possible excitation phases manually, I will test the worst case power density optimizer. I select the exposure service and the multiple simulation and the tool starts with a 
specialized version of SAMKS optimizer. Most settings are already configured, but I still have to manually enter all the variables to be optimized. There's a lot if I have larger array with many elements. I click run and the optimizer start exploding many phase configurations. You see the result in the progress tab, sorted by power density value. It took about 10 minutes to find the worst case for this array. I hear that Spiag is working on even faster algorithm. That will be very useful for larger arrays. It will even soon be integrated in the 5G module of DAISY. So I will be able to evaluate worst case power density out of my measurement data. So you have seen how to design 5G antenna system in SAMKX. I managed to design a 60 GHz hybrid array and integrated it within a mobile phone from stretch. I skipped some moments where I had to check the documentation or tutorials. But the software helps a lot, especially with a safety and compliance evaluation tool. Thank you for watching the videos.